Hello kings and queens. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Budgets with Elma and today I will be doing a cash stuffing for my everyday wallet. And before I get into it, welcome to my channel. If you like what you see and hear today, please think about becoming a subscriber by sharing, liking, and joining the family. If you're returning kings and queen, welcome back. I am happy to always have you here. As I mentioned, I will be cash stuffing my everyday wallet, which is my everyday spending, okay? Cash envelopes. And before I get into it, let me know how you are doing. As always, I want to know how you are doing. As we are family, it's good to always share how our work week is going or how our day is going. So let me know how's it going, okay? For me, today we are celebrating my hubby. Today is his birthday, okay? And so we are super blessed to share the special day with him. Okay, we've been celebrating since he opened his eyes this morning. Been singing to him in bed. Been singing to him all day on the phone while I'm at work. And now that I'm home and we just had a good time celebrating his special day. And the night is still young. Okay, but before I wanted to end the evening, I wanted to make sure I did this cash envelope stuffing of my everyday wallet. Okay, so here it is here. This is my new wallet. And I did feature it in one of my videos of new everything for July, right? New binders, new cash wallet, new everything. And so I am going to be cash stuffing my everyday envelopes in here. So here it is, okay? And I've already turned all my important cards and sound like there's some money. Show me some money, okay? So I'm going ahead and pulling out all my coins. Yes, child. I had these all up in my purse. So there you go. Put them all up in here and go ahead and put them in here. The coins that I'm saving, and once it gets full, I'm going to take it to my bank and then deposit it into my kids' funds. And I will continue to do it. Every time the jar gets full, I will put the money in, and then I will bring it to my bank and deposit it into my kids' account. I have three kids, so each of them are going to get a turn, okay? So here it, go. here it is. Just another way to save a little bit of money with money that you already have, right? Your change. So here it is, I'm putting it to the side. And let's get to the fun part. And these are the cash envelopes I'm using. Prior, I had the Budget Mom envelopes that I would print on her free printables. And I had my kids cut, paste, glue, tape them. But now I have these just to put them in my regular, okay, cash wallet that I use on a regular basis, okay? So let's see how much money I am cash stuffing for today. And let me know in the comments below, what did you budget for, for your everyday spending variable expenses? What was the total that you calculated on your budget to cash stuff, okay? For your most recent cash stuffing, okay? Your everyday spending. Now let's see how much I'm doing for today. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So we have, okay, so that's 420 and 20s, two tens, okay, and let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, plus 20 once. So I am cash stuffing today a total of $440, okay, for my variable expenses, okay, and these are my mini Okay, cash envelopes that I have made on my own, okay? Because I'm simplifying everything and I like things nice and chic and simplicity, okay? And so I'm adding money to my groceries, okay? A total of $200 for groceries. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, okay? So I'm putting 200 in my groceries, cash envelope. Let me know in the comments below, what are you budgeting for this pay period for your grocery budget, okay? The next one I'm doing is my gas. And since gas has gone up a little high since we're in summertime, so everything's a little bit expensive, instead of putting my typical $50, I am putting 60 in this envelope. 20, 40, 60. Let me know how much are you budgeting 
for your gas for this pay period. Or if you budget monthly, what is your monthly amount? The next one I'm doing is kids. As I mentioned, my daughter is a flower girl in a wedding. So I am budgeting $50 in here to buy her some hair supplies that we need um, in order to style her hair and get her ready for the wedding that she will be walking in. Okay, so that's 20, 40, and 110. Actually, let's do some singles. Okay, so 10, 20, oops, excuse me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 10 singles, two 20s, and that makes it 50. Now, I'm not going to ask you if you have a certain amount for kids because not everybody has kids. But if you do, let me know how much are you budgeting to cash stuff in that category. For my personal, I'm just putting 10 because I don't need anything in my last budget. Previously, I had um, bought everything that I need. But just in case something comes up, I'll add 10. The next one that I'm cash stuffing is eating out. As you know, we are taking my hubby out to eat for this weekend for him and my son's birthday. My husband's birthday, of course, is today, but my son's birthday is coming up very soon, and I'm taking both of them out, okay, to eat. And I have budgeted $100 to do that. Okay, and that's 520s, which equals 100 So for your category of eating out or fast food, okay, or groceries, what are you budgeting for eating out? The next one is household, which is for toiletries, not for household maintenance, because that's a separate category in my sinking funds. But for my variable expenses, my household one is for toiletries. And I'm just putting 10. We don't really need much, but just in case, I'm putting a little something in here. But I think we're all stocked up on um, toiletries. The next thing is I'm putting in my shopping just $10 um, for shopping. Again, for just in case. You never know. You might need some extra money. Or if I'm low on any of my other categories, I can pull from here as an extra little buffer as I'm shopping. Um, and I have a vacation coming up soon, which I will be budgeting for that at a later time. But for my variable expenses, the final amount is $10 for shopping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there you go. And so that is pretty much it of everything that I am cash stuffing for my everyday wallet. So let me know below, okay, out of your variable expenses, what are your top three, and I'm hoping just three, um, category that you spend more on in your variable expenses? What are your top three categories that you spend the most on okay that could be a pro and a con but what is your top three okay variable expense category that you spend the most on all right so i put everything in here and with that being said thank you for coming to my channel oops i'm gonna fix that a little bit better when i'm done um but thank you for coming to my channel. Again, my name is Budgets with Elma. And as always, I love having you on my channel. With that being said, have a wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video.